Hello friends, welcome to the video number 26 for uh, the Visual Basic uh, for Applications in Excel series. And well, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to exit a subroutine uh, when a certain condition uh, is true. And well, basically in the previous video, if you saw the previous video, we saw how to interrupt the execution of a cycle. We were using a, a loop, a do loop. So we used the uh, exit do. Again, just to exit the loop. Well, in this case, we are going to exit the entire subroutine. And well, basically, it's the same. Instead of using the exit, uh, exit do, we're going to use the exit sub. Uh, now, again, well, not again, but in I want to show you as a bonus, let's say, how to use this special form of an if uh, or an if then. Remember, we normally use the, um, we said if, then we have a condition, it's true, then we put then, and then we gotta come here and put the end if, and here in the middle we put, uh, I don't know, code, and well, we gotta use this form whenever we have two or more lines of code or, or statements that we have that we want to get executed. But um, in this case, for example, it's just going to be one, one statement It's just exit sub. Here, for example, I'm making a more uh, extreme case. Of course, you wouldn't do something like this in a real, uh, in a real programming scenario. Basically, I'm, I'm checking here if the denominator is equal to zero then exit sub, and then if the denominator is not equal to zero, I mean, of course, I have already checked that in here. But again, I, I'm doing this just for you to, to see uh, that you can have this form is just placing the if condition then, and then you can put your a single statement to be executed. Again, this is just for this case, when you're just to execute one single line of code, if you are gonna have two or more, you gotta use the form that we saw on, what was it? I think video 14 to video 16. We were talking about the if statements or the if block. Um, so you will actually be doing something more like this, right? I mean, if the denominator is zero, then I wanna exit the subroutine. Otherwise you will continue calculating the result, which is the, uh, the numerator divided by the denominator and then just um, print the result in a message box. So let's go ahead and run this and it tells us, okay, it's three. But then if the denominator were zero, nothing happens. So what is going on here? Let's do one step by step. We get here and we check if the denominator is zero, which it is. So we're gonna exit the subroutine, and again, nothing hap nothing happens. Now, of course, in a again in a real case, uh, a program in a scenario, you will have to do something else. You will need to let the user know that the the, the subroutine is exiting uh, because the denominator is zero. Something wrong is happening, so that the user can take action and fix it. But well, again, in this case, we just are looking how to exit the subroutine completely. We don't want to continue uh, executing any more code inside of the subroutine, right? Um, and well, again, just for you to see, that it still works. Now let's change this back to three. Right, so in a step-by-step, -step, uh, the denominator is equal to zero, no, then we go to the next. The denominator is different than zero. Yes, then the result is going to be numerator divided by the denominator. And then we display the result. So again, well, we learned how to use the exit tub to exit completely a subroutine and how to use this new form of the if then when I just want to execute a single line of code instead of having to make the whole block. All right, um, 
And well, that's it pretty much for this video. So I hope you find it useful. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share and like the video. And well, as always, thanks all of you for watching. And I hope to see you on video uh, 27, where we're going to see how to use the go-to and labels to go to different places in our subroutines. Okay, I, get, I hope to see you then.